the Rhine castles was plundered and burnt down and destroyed by the troops of the sun king Louis XIV in the year 1689. Afterwards, Castle Schoenberg lay in ruins for about 200 years. After extensive renovations, it now serves as a luxury hotel with a first-class view. So this is Castle Schoenberg that we can see coming up now on our left side. get a lot more river traffic on this side. Here comes another. So that is a Netherlands vehicle or a boat because of the Dutch flag on the back. But look at how close they are to the Rhine. I mean, the campground is just... Ladies and gentlemen, the town that's now coming up on our left side is the town of Obervesel. It's also known as the City of Towers. 16 of the original 18 towers are still standing. The city walls date from the medieval period. They're still in a great state of preservation. And here we can see the Church of Our Lady from 1331 with a tower rising 244 feet. Obervesel was praised by one poet as the most beautiful refuge on the Rhine of the Middle Ages. Although it was burnt down by the French in 1689, enough of the medieval town remains to give us a good idea of how all fortified towns along the Rhine must have once appeared. So this is uh, the town of Obervesel, or City of Towers, that we can see now on our left side. And as we sail past the town, there is a a river control station. So you can see ahead of us this 40 kilometers through to 340. Look at all the towers.
a rail line over there too, but I haven't seen any trains on that side. Ladies and gentlemen, so you can see here this beautiful town of Obervesel and there right now on our left side you can see that river control station controlling the river from kilometre 640 to 340. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can see kilometre marking 551. And our next point of interest coming up very shortly at kilometre 554 is the famous Lorelei. So, ladies and gentlemen, the Lorelei, you shouldn't expect to see a mermaid sitting on a rock in the river. The Lorelei rock is, in fact, much larger than that. It's the whole of a rocky spur of hard quartzite rock which impinges on the river and narrows the valley. The Lorelei Rock itself is 435 feet high and we'll be able to know